Listen up, ladies. If you get with a clown, expect a circus. Look at this shit this boy got going on YouTube. He done found him some toddlers. Brought they ass up on YouTube. But, and, and trying to make royalty jealous because his ass continued to do the same shit he been doing to her. So she decided to say, you know what? That's enough. I'm done. She packed her shit up, and this fool go find two toddlers who done got their permission slip signed. Now they all up on YouTube doing crazy-ass videos. See, he trying to maintain that income he got coming in when she had her kids there. But now that the kids are gone, look at the bullshit he putting up on here. I wish my nigga would do some shit like that. I don't care if it's a prank or not. Any bitch that's six feet close to you, we done. He love to flash his little watch and his jewelry, his money. He ain't gonna be satisfied till some goons come and knock his ass upside the head and take his shit from him. See, that's what he begging for. Look at him. Baby, we have lost it. Now look at her ass. So undeveloped. This little girl got a little body that is not even developed, fully developed yet. Now I know he could have found somebody better than that. But you know what? He gonna find the dumbest one, which would be the little toddler. Yeah, look at me. Ooh, I can't wait till my high school friends see me all around YouTube. Yeah, I'm up there now. I'm, <laughs> I'm with him. Look at this fool. I wish this fool fall out the goddamn car. He is just, I could not be with no nigga like this. I would have been left his ass. But a bitch know when she didn't had enough. So we gonna see if royalty is done with the bullshit. Because bitch, I can tell you this. You can be gone for a whole goddamn year and take him back. He gonna continue to cheat on you. Cause you done already laid the groundwork. There was no lesson for him to learn the first time. You pretty much schooled him and, and taught him how to cheat on you. Yeah, she gonna be mad for a few weeks. We may not be talking, we may be distant. But as soon as she come back home, I'm going to let shit die down. Then I'm going to go back and be the hoe that I've been, been, you know, been doing to her. Same shit. That's why I tell these girls, why be with a man that's going to drive you crazy? And then he disrespects you. Have a bitch in your house. In your house. You kissing all on this bitch shoulder and her neck. I wish the fuck I would. And COVID is active out here. And you got your face all up in this little toddler. Oh, hell no. Hell no, baby. Now look at her. She want to show us that she can shake her little back. Because ain't nothing back there but their back. Ooh, I'm going to show them. Girl, you ain't showed a damn thing but your ignorance. But they didn't got their little permission slip sign, honey. It's another little girl. They went on a double date. He went, one other little girl was with CJ on 32s. And I thought he was way more mature than this crazy fool here. But they'll let you know. These niggas nowadays are weak. They weak. So now you want to make videos that she chose to leave your ass because <laughs> first of all, she found five and six phones, continued to text other bitches, entertain other bitches. Then... Talk to his baby mama, and she's just a so cool baby mama. Anything he do, she okay with. So those are the type you really got to keep your eye on that bitch because 
you never know if they fucking. And of course, he going to tell the bitch not to say nothing. And of course, he going to pay her off. <laughs> but everything he do, baby mama cool with it. Look at her. Yeah, bitch, I'm showing you guys. I'm here now. Yeah, everybody's going to see me from my elementary school. Girl, shut the hell up. Y'all, these little kids, baby. If these kids are the future, if the kids today are the future, we fucked. Now look at this other little toddler. <laughs> I'm, I'm riding down the strip with, with a well-known YouTuber. Everybody's going to see me. I wish the fuck my daughter would. If I saw my daughter on this shit, boy, hand me your phone. Give me your phone. Go get your TV. Put it in my room. Go get your laptop. Put it on my bed. <laughs> I wish the hell I would. But they let you know, majority of this boy hits in subscribers are toddlers. I mean, not toddlers, but they're kids. And therefore, they also may be latchkey kids at that. The parent is not over their shoulders enough. So therefore, they're online on their phones 24-7. And they blowing this nigga up for no reason. Because they're all kids. And I'm sure they believe everything this fool say. Everything. But I just thought CJ on 32 was, was a little bit more mature than this shit. Any man like this, they got to flash their money. They got to be seen. They got to open the door, show their Lamborghini door open. Drag my feet on the highway so you can see what I'm wearing. Let me put my wrist in your face so you can see my diamonds. Bitch. I would not want a nigga like that. Look at these little toddlers. They both undeveloped. Look at them. They got their little permission slip sign. Now, I know he could have did better than that. I know damn well he did not do all this to try to give back a royalty. I know damn well. Baby, if she go back to him, she deserve everything that's coming her way. This shit ain't going to work. The only way you're going to change him is to leave his ass for good. That's the only way. But see, they don't change until it's too late. You been and moved on and found somebody else in which she need to. But you didn't have, she just had twins not that long ago. Her main focus needs to be is don't entertain the bullshit because that's what he wants. Number one. Number two, focus on your kids. Don't even be a bitter bitch. Don't be bitter at all. Drop your kids off. Knock on the door, have them kids at the doorstep. You be dressed down, baby. You, casket sharp, do you hear me? And the only conversation we're going to have is about these kids, sweetie. Doing normal business hours, bitch. Don't call my phone after 6 o'clock. Period. I would teach his ass. But the more you give in... And you take this nigga back and you texting him and oh honey and, and you watching these videos and you text him and y'all fighting back and forth. He putting the shit up there what you done said to him. Bitch, it's a never ending story. Like you say, silence is your best weapon. And that's exactly what I would give his ass. Don't hold them kids for him. Let them kids go over there. Enjoy your time to yourself. Love on your kids. And when the time is right for a new nigga and they come and find you just out of nowhere, they just, y'all just so happen to run into each other and the time is right, go with it. That's the best thing you can do.
But when you entertain bitch niggas like this, because, baby, they don't make them like they used to no more. These niggas nowadays are so soft. They too emotional. They way messy than females. I just don't understand that part either. But I would never want to be with a nigga like this. Especially if you got to flash your money and show. But it's bitches that thrive out that. It's bitches that love that. And that's all they live for. I'd rather be with an honest nigga who may not have much, but we can work together to make something. I build you up, you build me up. But I refuse to be with a nigga like that. Royalty better love herself, honey. Love yourself, bitch. I can go all day about this. Been there, done that. Y'all stay tuned, honey. There will be more videos coming up. I thank all my new subscribers. I thank those who are not subscribed. I ask that you do click the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below, and I'll be back. Peace.